we are going to do a really short core strength workout. So lots of roll-ups, a 100, a little spine stretch, and a little bit on four-point kneeling to work your bum and your core muscles. So let's make a start. We're going to start in seated. We can do a couple of roll-ups as a bit of a warm-up for your spine and for your abs, and then we'll make it a bit harder. So take a bend in your legs, feet flat down on the mat, take a little gap between your feet and your knees, then pull yourself up to a lovely tall seated position, scoop your tummy in and up. Bring your arms out in front. Take an inhale, exhale, nod your chin, round through your spine and roll back to about halfway and hold it there. Scoop your tummy in, come all the way back up to the top, back to that tall spine position. Inhale, exhale, nod, tuck your tailbone under, roll back, hold it there. Scoop your tummy in, come back up to the top, just one more. Make sure you come back up right to that tall position. Inhale, exhale, nod, tailbone tucks, round through your spine, <clears throat> roll down. Scoop your tummy in, come back up to the top. Good, this time we're going to make it a little bit harder. Drop your arms down for a second, take the tension off your hips by pulling yourself up to a tall position. And then when you're ready, we're coming up again. So bring your arms out in front. This time, can you make fists with your hands and bring your palms down? We're gonna start crossing your arms as you lower down. So exhale as you round through your spine. This time, we're gonna come a little bit lower. You choose how low you go. Keep crossing as you come back up to the top. We've got five of these and each one's gonna get a little bit lower. So tuck that tailbone under, round through your spine. Keep those arms going. Scoop your tummy in to come all the way up to the top. You can do this with weights if you prefer. You get a little bit more work, actually a lot more work in your tummy, rolling down, scooping your tummy in, coming all the way back up to the top. Good, last two. Rolling down. Keep those arms going, feel that work in the top of your shoulders. Back up to the top. Last one, rolling down, tuck that tailbone. Keep your feet flat on the floor, go as low as you want to, pull your tummy in to come back up to the top, tall spine, rest your arms down there, roll your shoulders. So we're going to add some rotation into our roll up now, so grow nice and tall, bring your arms out in front, we're going to rotate round to one side, tuck your tailbone under and roll down, we've got three on this side, scoop your tummy in, come back up to the top, stay in that rotated position, roll down, tuck your tailbone, feet flat on the floor, Pull your tummy in to come back up to the top. One more. Exhale down. Pull your tummy in back up to the top. We're going to straight round to the other side. So go center. For me, it's the left. Roll down. Pull your tummy in. Come back up to the top. Two more. Rolling down. Pull your tummy in back up to the top. Last one like this. Tuck your tailbone under, round through your spine, roll back. Pull your tummy in, back up to the top. Come back to center, rest your arms down there. Roll through your shoulders. Now we're gonna roll back in a rotated position, switch to the other side and come up. So grow tall. Scoop your tummy in and up, bring your arms out in front and then you're gonna rotate them round to one side. Roll back to where you feel a little bit of challenge and hold it there. Tuck your tailbone under a little bit more, make sure your tummy's on and then you're gonna sweep round keeping your knees still to the other side, come all the way up that side, come back to the right or whichever side you started on, roll down, hold it there, twist round, come up the other side, one more starting in this side, rolling down, hold it there, scoop your tummy in, slow motion twist, back up to the top, stay in that rotated position, you're going to come down that side, Twist around, come up, back to center, twist to the left, roll down, come round, back up to the top. We've just got one more, twisting to the left, rolling down, how those hip flexors feeling, round to the side, all the way up to the top. Good, bring your arms back to center, rest your arms down there. Take a little lean back if you feel like you just need to get out of your hips. I do. And then we're gonna come into a 100. We're gonna reverse into it. So take a bend in your legs, feet flat on the floor, gap between your feet, gap between your knees, hold on behind your thighs, pull yourself up to seated, scoop your tummy in and up, bring your arms out in front, palms facing down. 
Take an inhale. Exhale, nod your chin, round through your spine, roll back. Let's stop here and start a 100 here. So start to pat the air five times as you inhale, five times as you exhale. Hold it there. Tuck your tailbone under, roll down a little bit further and stop there. Five pats as you inhale, five pats as you exhale. Tuck your tailbone under, roll down so that your shoulders are off. You might need to move your feet a little bit. And now we're in our normal 100 position. So your head, neck and shoulders are up. You're patting the air with your hands and you're working all your abdominal muscles here. So breathing in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. If you're happy, you've got all that work in your tummy and not in your neck. You can bring one leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop. Last three breaths. If you want to make it harder, send your legs out on a diagonal, glue your heels together. Last two breaths now. Last one. Lower your head, neck and shoulders, bring your legs down under control. If you need to, then stretch out through your legs. Take the tension off the front of your hips. You're going to come up into a seated position for a little spine stretch. So take a bend in your legs, either roll onto your side and push up to seated, or bring your knees towards your chest and rock yourself up to a seated position. Stretch your legs out in front, bring your toes back towards your knees and sit up really nice and tall. Then you're going to bring your arms up out in front. If you can't get a nice straight back in this position, take a bend in your legs. Inhale there. Exhale, nod. Pull your tummy in. Reach your hands forwards. And as you're reaching your hands forwards, can you push your back back behind you, your hips back behind you? So you get that stretch down your spine. Grow nice and tall. Inhale there. Exhale, nod. Pull your tummy in. Reach forwards with your hands. Keeping your arms up at shoulder height, but pushing your hips back behind you, pulling your belly button towards your spine. And grow nice and tall. Last one. Inhale there. Exhale, nod. Tummy in. Reach. Push your hips back. Imagine someone's got you by the waist and they're pulling you backwards. Reach a little bit further with your fingers. Pull your tummy towards your spine a touch more. Get that stretch down your back and then grow all the way back up to the top. Rest your arms down there. We're coming into a four point kneeling position now to work your bum and core again. So hands down underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and slide your shoulder blades down your back. From here, can you flex one foot and bring your toes down onto the mat? So you want a nice neutral spine here. I'll just tuck my t-shirt in so you can see that my back is in that neutral position. Then all you're gonna do, you're keeping that angle at your leg. Fix some dodgy bit of hair is you're going to kick, donkey kick that leg up. So it's staying in that bent leg position as you kick up and draw it down. Keep it nice and steady. So imagine that you're trying to hold a ball behind your knee here. So you want to keep that leg in right angle at your knee. And think about the muscles that are working here. You want a lot of glute, a bit of hamstring going on. So squeeze your bum as you draw that leg up. Make sure you haven't just dropped your tummy. So pull your tummy up and in and take a look just in front of your fingers. I've got a terrible habit of looking down at my knees. You want to be having a nice neutral neck. So look just in front of your fingers. Two more. Last one. And then we've got five more. But this time as you bring that leg up, you're going to bring the opposite hand out in front. It's hard to stabilize like this. So if you prefer, just keep your hand down. Last one. Good, and come down there. Have a little push back, bum towards your heels, reach your arms forwards, just stretch out through the back of your arms. And then when you're ready, come up to do the other side. It's our last bit of work now. So knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, slide your shoulder blades down your back, flex that other foot, bring your toes to the mat. Keep that bend in your knee as you kick that leg up. So it's really tempting to shift your weight over to the side to allow you to pick that leg up, but that's not what we want. You want to keep your hips nice and square, pull your tummy in and just lift the leg, lead with your heel. Try and keep your heel in line with your bum. 
Keep it nice and slow. Take a look just in front of your fingers so you're not dropping through your chin. I'm pretty much just talking to myself there. Good. So as you're bringing that leg up, you're not allowing your back position to change at all. So keep that nice and strong by pulling your tummy in. Last two now, not dipping in your back. Last one like this. And now for the last five, we're gonna release that hand forwards. It's wobbly. It's hard work on your supporting arm. Last one. Bring your knee down, bring your hand down, push your bum back over your heels, reach your arms forwards, stretch out through the back of your arms. All the hard work is done. Let's just have a little stretch. So sink all the way down. You can rest your head down on the floor if you like. It's nice and clean. And then from there, let's bring your feet forwards, stretch out through the back of your legs. Slide your hands down towards your feet. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs. So you could have flexed feet, bring your toes back towards your knees, or just, I want to say loose feet. That's not what I mean. Relaxed, relaxed feet. Take an inhale there. As you exhale, see if you can reach just a little bit further. And then relax out of that stretch there. You are all done. Great work. Well done.